Welcome back to the Bioinformatics Hub. Today we will learn how we can perform protein protein docking using Head Doc Server, which is a powerful tool for protein protein docking. So, first we need our protein structure. You can download the protein structure from the protein data bank. So, from this uh, website you can uh, download protein structures make sure to clean your files remove the water molecule and hydrogen and add the hydrogen atom and for this purpose you can use the tool like pymol chimera next uh, you have to open the head doc server and you have to make your account so for uh, this token you need to uh, protein molecule upload your protein pdb file i have prepared the protein pdb file so i will upload here uh, like you can see i have one file with the protein name one is oi so i uploaded this structure and you have to select the chain that you will use for the protein docking here i am using chain a then you have to put another protein structure so here i will add uh, another protein structure mm. okay this one i will add and then you have to click on the next so in the head doc you need to specify active and passive residues these are critical for guiding the docking process so here i am selecting any residues as an active or passive residues so you can select uh, based on your uh, uh, based on your protein structure and what uh, and based on your analysis so here i will select for example these residues as an active residues then just click on the next once everything is done uh, just uh, okay here you can select any parameters but here i will uh, just select the default uh, docking parameters and once everything is done just click on the submit button so here if you want to take this job as a covid research you can but i will not so i will click on no and once everything is done, then uh, depending on the server load, uh, server load uh, result may take some time and you will receive an email when your token results are ready. So and they will also show you the number of residues in your protein, uh, both the proteins, and then you can wait for your token result. And then you can analyze your token result by using the PyMole. So in this lecture, uh, you learn how to perform protein-protein docking using head dog in two minutes. See you next time. Thank you.